We have a holiday update 2019.40.50.1 and we have a lot of driving visualization improvements such as stoplight, stop signs, uh, road crossings, railroad crossings and all that good stuff. As you can see here, we're going to pass up some um, garbage cans, for example, these show up and yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a little drive and you guys can see what it's like. Enjoy. And as you see here, we're pulling up to a stoplight and you can see that the car is already detecting the two stoplights that are facing in front of us. More and more road markings are starting to show up. This is a huge improvement. None of this stuff has been on the previous updates. And as we make a right turn here, you see these construction cones on the left side and the car is picking them up. It's pretty crazy how accurate it is. And we're just going to commentate as we go through this drive, just so you guys experience how the full self driving is improving with the driving visualizations. I would like to also say thank you to Jason Happy on Reddit for providing me with this uh, video footage. I currently have hardware 2.5 and uh, the retrofit is not available yet for me to record this film, but he went out of his way and recorded this footage for me. And if you look at the left side, it's, it's pretty awesome. You can see the cones are showing up pretty accurately. So as a car has more and more capabilities to see different obstacles, um, it can try to avoid them better. It can slow the car down in construction zones. So as the car advances and gets smarter and smarter, um, the car will inherently become safer. And now on the left, we're passing two rows of cones. The car is able to detect both rows. So as the software becomes more and more advanced and progresses, just imagine trees, pets, pedestrians already show, bicyclists already show. It's just gonna keep getting better and better. And look how cool that looks as it zooms out and picks up all the cones and cars. And as you can see here, it's a pretty uh, confusing way. The lines are missing. There's a lot of cones and just look how it's picking all of them up. Looks like it has a really high refresh rate on that on that screen. And I can tell you using the new update with the new game that came out in Netflix and man, it, it's super clear. It reminds me of the retina display on the iPad. This is a great example of the cone detection. And see these left arrows on the ground? The car does detect those as well. And now as you approach the line where you are supposed to be stopping at, those do show up as well which was not there on the previous updates. And as you saw there, all of those signals were showing up on the screen. And those crosswalks did not show up, which is interesting. So what it seems like it's doing is looking for the stoplight first, and then after that it tries to detect a crosswalk, but it seems that it might be a little bit too late by then, and it doesn't show up. 
if you do have hardware 2.5 or do not or did not purchase full self-driving you guys still will get the game stardew valley you guys still will game the get the beat maker and all the other features like twitch it's just that this driving visualization as of now is only for people who purchased full self-driving And in this version, the emergency stoplight warning, uh, stop sign warning when you're about to, you know, run a stoplight or a stop sign is way more accurate. It works a lot better. And as you see here, we approach a stop sign. It shows up nice, bright and red on the side of the screen. And you see the line where we stopped at pass it on by so it worked perfectly fine right there stop sign detection does seem to work very accurately it shows up mostly all the time here's another one you can see the stop sign stopping it you can see the line as well and worked flawlessly and over here you can see there you go the pedestrian yeah picked up a lot picked up the person a lot later stoplights seem like they are priority and they pop up as soon as possible uh, as you saw there that person was not detected until they reached about the front of our vehicle which doesn't necessarily mean the car hasn't detected that person before that point maybe it is just showing us the person at that point but in future versions, maybe the car will take initiative to stop if it does feel like it's going to hit that person. And it's currently picking up those yellow things right over there and those cones as well. And right there, cones once again on the opposite side of the road. So I guess this is why you need hardware 3.0. It probably does take a lot of processing power to uh, display all of these uh, different objects to you on the screen. It does show a green arrow instead of a green circle on the turn lights. Here's another stop sign once again. See if it'll let us zoom in on the light. Oh, we lost it. And yeah, it does. It lets you zoom in on the lights. That's pretty cool. And there is a red arrow inside of it. And the arrow turns yellow and then green. Uh, it does have a 3D effect. It has like a red lining underneath it. Those ones turned green. So each one will individually tell you uh, the color assigned to it. So it seems like there's a small delay from when the car actually shows you the color switch um, relative to how fast it's changing in real life, but it is a, it is a small delay. See, and now it is actually not showing anything, which is pretty interesting. But once you get to the intersection, start to pull up into the intersection, um, they will turn off. We will see if it can get the bike lane and the train tracks right up here. There you go. Stoplight um, detection. It thought we were going to run that stoplight. So it gave us a warning. We'll try that on a stop sign as well.
We are currently slightly over the line because we were testing the uh, stop feature. And um, that's why it's showing like that on the screen. If you are going faster, it does happen a lot earlier, the stop sign detection. Anything over 30 miles an hour works pretty well. Uh, below that, it will cut it a little bit close. But if you slam on your brakes hard enough, you can uh, stop the vehicle. So far, um, we haven't noticed it detect any other signs. Let's see if we can pick up on these bike lanes. Um, and one place so far we did notice that it does pick up on bike lanes uh, if it's marked very clearly it will show up and a whole bunch of cones in the corner moving around and some also in the back it's a 360 view now it's, it's pretty cool and it shows the arrows placed on the ground as well So once the arrows um, get to a certain distance, they'll disappear. And sometimes it pops in and out. And you can actually zoom into the stoplight all the way from here. Yeah, there's two lights and there's one sitting farther back, which sometimes seems like it does confuse the system. And uh, it doesn't show the lines uh, for the opposite side for where the car is supposed to stop at. And a bike lane should pop up here, which it, which it did earlier. And it's not doing it here. And here's some trash cans. Interesting that trash cans pop up, I guess. There's trash cans on the streets all the time. And still the bike lane is not showing up. Yeah, the back lanes do not pick up as easily. When there's a dedicated bike lane, it does pick it up more consistently. But usually, sometimes when the line seems to be closer to the curb or the curb is the actual other end of the bike lane, uh, it has trouble picking it up. Yeah, there are some mailboxes here to see if it picks up these mailboxes. It seems they're a little too far off and a little too small to be picked up. Yeah, so far with mailboxes, we haven't seen anything. And here's a roundabout coming around. The car is engaged in autopilot. Let's see how it does. Any improvements? Attempts it. Oh, and we canceled it out last second. Roundabouts are not there yet. And here's a bike lane right here. Showed it for a second. And bike lane, I believe, was on the last update as well. But um, it was rare. I think I've only seen it once before, if, if I have. If it's a clearly marked bike lane, it will it will work. This bike lane here um, is a little bit better, but it didn't pick that one up either. Here's another roundabout in autopilot once again. Slow it down. It naturally drops down to about 17 or 18 miles an hour. And that was a little too close to the curb. Here's the train crossing right here. So you will see 
There we go. It showed the X's on the ground. Pops in a little bit late, but it also does pick up the lights on the train signals. And here's another one. Here's more crossings. There you go, and it picks up both of the lights on either side. There's a yield sign coming up here. Let's see if it picks it up. And we pass that as the light was yellow. It's no yield sign. Maybe that one was covered by the tree a little bit or yield signs are not in this update yet. And here's another Tesla. Uh, we'll turn autopilot back on here. It picked up that bike lane right there, even though it just turned off. And the railroad crossings are here once more. Pops in super late for the train crossings, but it is there. And the lights are there very accurately. The lights are more accurate than the crossing. And that uh, cross signal there picked up a little bit earlier. Here's a roundabout again in autopilot. We'll make a right here. See if it'll go through. No, it didn't take that one. It slammed on its brake. Here's a bike lane that's really well defined and it picks it up very easily. It picked up that trailer as a garbage can. Let's see if it detects this stop sign right here. When you, only when you have on the auto steer, the you get the stop sign warnings only when you have auto steer on. And it picks up this stop sign here in the construction area, even though those um, barriers were in front of it. It's pretty impressive. And there is a couple of trash cans in the middle of the road, which is very weird. So let's see if we pull up to them at this distance at a slow speed. And yeah, it lets us know, but not sure if it will stop for it or not. Yeah, kind of dangerous with those in the middle of the road. And it picks up these lights. Uh, it picks up lights at about two to three hundred feet away. And even over this pretty large truck, these signals do show up in the back and police vehicles do not show up as police vehicles but does show up as a suv so yeah that's pretty much it guys 
These are the driving visualizations, um, a basic rundown of what it shows you and what it's capable of. And remember, if you guys enjoyed today's content, please like and subscribe. Have a great holiday, and we'll see you soon. Peace.